So you guys are doing awesome. If you feel like maybe one technique or one position is a struggle, listen, you're so far ahead of where everybody else is at, I promise. I, I am overly, my expectations are really high, okay? So I don't just say, go out there and whatever happens, happens. You know I have high expectations. So I'm telling you, you're doing really good. You're doing really good. Um, I want to do two more things from this position, and then, then we'll rest alive. Um, let's use Matthew and Brad. We do counter at Barnyard Roll. Um, I don't care. I'll, I'm going to talk these guys through it. All right, so listen, whoever wants to hit the shot, right? You want to hit the shot. All right, so look, look, Brad hits a double. Go ahead. Brad hits a double leg. Now look, Brad hits a double, and Brad's in so deep right now that Matthew can't sprawl or doesn't sprawl, okay? So Matthew is left with very limited options. You guys don't need to hear me. Scoop back to come in this way, okay? Um, Matthew's left with limited options. So what he tries to do is he's going to try to flip Brad over. He's going to try to take Brad's hips to the same size as Brad's head. Go ahead. Matthew flips him over. Now look, when he does that, notice what happens here. Matthew basically got Brad to lose control of his hips. Brad's head went to the center of Matthew's body. Now Matthew squares his hips to the mat, and Brad ends up underneath. That happened because Matthew threw the weight to Brad's left side to Matthew's right. I told you, our goal before was to get Matthew's weight to his left. All right, not to his right, to his left. So when he tries to go this way, we got to go the opposite way. We're going to go to our right, to his left. All right, so this time, Brad hits the shot. Matthew's going to try to flip him over. As Matthew does this, all right, Brad's going to run his feet, right, this direction, right, in front of the body. He's going to stay in control of his hips. And look, Brad keeps his head over top of the point. It doesn't go underneath. Now, nothing's decided yet. There's no takedown yet, all right? And this is where we got to be really disciplined. It's easy right here to see that you're close to a takedown. And what a lot of you guys do is you try to drive in from here. If Brad were to drive into Matthew, what would happen is Brad would make himself susceptible to a defense we call a funk roll. What would happen is Matthew would go from the waist to the leg, and then Matthew would have an opportunity to roll. He'd roll across his back to his belly, right, and end up in between the legs here. Now, Matthew could slide his knees under, raise up, come out the back door, and look to score. We're going to do that next. All right, we'll do that in a second. Right now, we've got to learn how to counter that. We're going to counter that by not coming to our right knee. So this time, Brad hits the shot. Matthew tries to flip him over. Brad runs his hips. Now, Brad's not going to put his right knee on the mat. He's going to keep his right hip down. Notice, his right hip is down towards the mat. He doesn't expose his legs by bringing his knee up. From here, he's going to move his hips towards Matthew's legs, and he steps over and hooks. Notice, Brad stepped over, and he hooked the legs. From this position, Brad usually would lock his hands around both legs. Now from here, we pull the legs back, bring our hips in, make our body nice and long, the hips are away. Now we work in and look to score. Matthew, from here, we'll belly down. We'll get our two points. All right, and that'll be the end of the scenario. Let's do it again. Uh, Brad's going to hit a double. Matthew's going to lock around the waist. He's going to try to flip him over. When this happens, Brad's going to run his hips. Brad runs, and runs his hips the opposite side of his head. Now from here, he's going to run towards his feet. He's going to step over and hook. Notice, he doesn't bring his right knee up close to the body where he can funk roll. Matthew's going to belly out now. We're going to work up. All right, we're going to get our two points. And that's the end of the scenario. One more time. All right, pay attention. You guys, here, pay attention. Pay attention. All right, double leg. Matthew locks around the waist. Brad runs his hips. Step over and hook. Pretty simple. Defensive guy, do me a favor. All right, you're going to try to flip this guy over. Watch where you're at. If, if, if there's someone behind you, be careful. We don't want to flip this guy over and he lands right here on these guys. So be cognizant of your area. Offensive guy, don't let him flip you over. You're not switching your head. You're sinking and running your hips. Anytime this guy's going backwards, it could be a blast double. It could even be a low Smith single. We always run our hips the opposite side of our head, right in front of the body. You with me? Let's do it. One, two, three.